Let's talk about Blender and how we can do two things with it, namely shortcut keys in Blender, big new concept. I mean, it's built in. I didn't know that was happening. And also macros slash actions in Blender. Very cool thing to do. I'm going to go and open Blender 3.0 because it works with that. And I'll show you how to download this little add-on that we need for that and how to make it work. But shortcut keys first. This is something that's very, very cool. So I found myself doing something often that I'd like to assign a shortcut to it. Like, for example, import an FBX. So usually you go file, import, and you have to find FBX here. And then you go and navigate to the thing that you want to import and it's all good. But if you do that quite a lot, it would be nice to have something like whatever, control F for FBX or something to get that imported. And there is actually a way to do this. And I had no idea that worked that way. It is the magic right click. So you go to the action that you'd like. So in my case, it's file import and FBX. And rather than left clicking on it to execute the action, I go and right click on it. Let's see if we can see it here. There we go. And that says quick. Uh, so add to quick favorites, assign shortcut. That's the thing we want. So assign shortcut will let me know if I click on it, it'll say press a key. So in this case, I can go in my case, control F. And then that now has the shortcut key assigned to it. And the awesome thing is now I can literally go and say control F and I'm literally in that menu. So that's added efficiency already. I'm super happy about this. And that can be done with pretty much anything that can be clicked. So anything that has something, just right click it and assign a shortcut key. So haha, -ha, very exciting. So that's number one. The other exciting thing I was going to explain is how we can record a series of button presses that we do. And that is that is kind of nice. That is done with an add-on. Thankfully, it's free by the amazing Inamura Jin. Uh, he puts it on the he puts it here on, on GitHub and uh, I'm going to explain how to install this plugin or this add-on and then how to use it because it is very, very cool. Now, if you're familiar with GitHub, there's often this thing at the on the right hand side here where you have the releases. And if you click on that, usually you get a zip archive that you can download. That is not how you install this add-on. And that really tripped me up because I, of course, did that and I have neglected to read that this is not the add-on. <laughs> in fact, what we need to do is we need to go to the master branch to this very link here. So whatever is in the description that I'm going to give you um, there or what I've just posted in the chat, this link at the kind of is it at the at the top here this green button. There's sadly there's no usage instructions of how to install this in here. But if you go up here under code and then you just go and download the zip that is what will do that so we'll, we'll go do that this says uh, please save the file so we need to download this whole thing so in the release i think he only has whatever's inside storage and we need the whole thing including these uh, python files otherwise it's not going to install into blender when we're in here we'll head over to edit preferences and over here we go into install navigate to whatever we've downloaded there. This is this one here, Action Recorder Master. So this is the one I've downloaded today, just now, and this one was from yesterday. So I'm going to go and install this thing. Here it is, Action Recorder. So we go and enable that, and that is pretty much all we do. There's a check for updates thing here as well, in case there's a new version out, but that is, I think, all we need to do. I forgot if we need to restart Blender. It looks like we don't. And then we have with the end panel here, we have this thing, which is called Action Recorder. And this is now our fully fledged macro recorder. And that's pretty cool. It's fairly kind of simple-ish, if you think about it. There's a thing at the top, which is the actual action that we can then, that we can define. So we have to click plus and go and record our thing. Double click will give it a title. So I'll call it a test action. I might go and record several for my Sinti project in a minute. At the left of that here, you can left click and then this brings up a huge menu of icons. So you can just go and put any icon that you like on here. Hit OK and then your action has an icon. It's kind of cool. Then on the bottom here, these are the actual actions that would be uh, that would be running. So if I head over to record now, I will start putting things into here. So let me go and do that. Perhaps I will go and uh, with my cube selected, I might go and say 
shift D and then I'll say uh, G X and put that over there and then maybe I'll uh, maybe maybe that's my action maybe you know maybe that's it so it could be as complex as you like you go and hit stop and it will go and duplicate that object and you know hopefully move it over so if I go and run this now with my object selected maybe I was going to delete that cube select this cube and then I'm going to go run this action with the big play button it should do the same thing again and it can be as complex and as uh, as simple as you want but it'll certainly make my life a lot easier now does this also take a shortcut action if i right click on it change shortcut so yes you can also then assign a shortcut to run a macro like that so very very cool and it's something i found out yesterday i thought i'd let you know about it because that's going to certainly increase my productivity with the sinti project there we go amateur now i'm going to read all your questions hang on 